What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going over all the wisps in Pokemon Legends Arceus's Cobalt Coastlands. <laughs> If you've been following along, we have achieved 47 Wisps so far, including the town and the first two areas. There are 60 more left to find. That's absolutely fine. Let's head on over to the Cobalt Coastlands. I'm literally going to fast travel right there. I love fast traveling in this game. It's actually fast. Here on my map are the location of all 20 of the Wisps. If you want to just take this and run, go for it. However, I do recommend a method of marking it down and you're like, okay, well, I come over here. And then if you do find it, you make it into a different icon. I'm going to use the Pokeball. But if you come over here and you don't see it, make it something else. They, either that means that you grabbed it already, or maybe you didn't realize that it became daytime. Also, for a lot of these, it needs to be nighttime. So I'm just going to recommend make it nighttime. And now we know that nighttime lasts about seven and a half, eight minutes or so. You only have about eight minutes to actually go around and collect all these. In addition, I do want to state that I'm pretty sure almost all of them can be done, with the exception of this one right here. It may require Sneasler, the climbing Pokemon from the fourth area. So I'm going to save that very last one for last. And the first one is literally in front of us. We're actually just going to be going down this way. And you you have this one unless you literally waited for my video, which in that case, thank you. But you do, you have this one. You came up here. You grabbed this. Come on. Next up from this ridge, we're going to be heading down just a little bit down the crossing slope. Literally right there. Could not miss it. Could not be any easier. Next, we're going to be heading to this one at the east side of Apom Hill. And this one you can totally get before you get the ability to climb with Sneasler by heading to right here and just jumping up right into that little nook and then you're at the top. Nice. Go. This might be the thumbnail. Nope, that's just, it's just literally a mountain. I mean, there's a lot of water, but I don't know. I feel like all these thumbnails look the same. Next, we're going to be heading just a little bit right in the middle of a pond next to the Alpha Golduck. You literally can't miss it. Right here in the pond in Bathers Lagoon. You could either swim with Basque Legion or just hop over here and come get it. Next up is going to be one at the southern side of the Deadwood Haunt. Maybe that's the Hideaway Bay. I'm not too sure. I have stared at this one in particular wisp, especially during that shiny swap video for so long. I'm just so happy to finally grab it. Next up is going to be this one right next to the Tombola Walk, right next to the Alpha Chansey. I'm going to fast travel to the Coastlands Camp to grab it. From the Coastlands Camp, it's literally just directly south. It should be visible from the camp in addition. Next up is going to be one of the, 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 the integers coming off of the creepy hand thing. And this one is literally next to the Seagate. Not you, unknown. We're not doing you yet. We're doing the unknowns. Once we're, once we're all set, once we have access to the last area. One more very reachable from the Coastlands camp is going to be right here. And nice, nice easy one to get. From here, we're just gonna be heading a little bit northwest and grabbing this one at Tranquility Cove. This is right next to where the Alpha Mantine is. By the way, every time I come across this one rock, this one rock, I think it's like a Pokemon or something. New, new Sharpedo version. I don't know. <laughs> I always think it's something. Oh, that's an Alpha Drifloom. I need one of those. Thank you very much. Did I say Drifloom? I meant Drifloom. I was looking in that Drifloom when I was talking about this Drifloom. And you self-destruct, but it doesn't die when it does self-destruct anymore. Isn't that so great? So great. Oh yeah, this Wisp. That's, that's the reason we're here. Just gonna grab it right there and we're good. Next up, I'm going to make my way over to Fire Spit Island, and there's going to be one right there. Hey, look, it's a Magby. Thought those were rare. Oh, Alpha Magmar. Wait, I have Alpha. Do I have Alpha Magmar? I finally made my Excel list of my living decks. Yep, I have Alpha Magmar. I'm good. Oh, <laughs> it's down there. <laughs> I went way too far out of the way. Yeah, it's just literally right there. You probably have this one. And that was our tenth one. From here, there's actually three we're going to be getting around the perimeter. First, this one to the south. If I were to look up the definition of obvious in the dictionary, I would obviously get the definition of obvious in the dictionary, which this wisp is. 
From here, we could head directly north and in the top right corner, almost impossible to see on the map. And chances are when you go to experience it, you're gonna be in the fog of out of bounds. But there's a tiny little island in the most northeast corner of this entire map with a couple of treasure chests, a sky tumble stone, and a whisk. The treasure chests usually hold some nice goodies. I kind of wish I was able to throw Pokemon and go get the wisps, but I can't. From here, we're just gonna go directly west. Whenever I make one of these kinds of collectathon videos and it's in a series like this, like the Diglets and the Isle of Armor were, I know it's not gonna do great. And ever since the Diglet one, I was thinking to myself, you know, I never want to split it up like this again. But this game has like integer rewards along the way. And in addition to that, it's like five very different areas. So I was like, you know, Kind of danged if I do, danged if I don't. We are going to be heading up the Isle Spy Shore and coming around clockwise to the Wisp that will be up there. I know that when when you hear me talk about this sometimes and describing where it is, there's a tone in my voice of, well, you're gonna find it at this location out in the open. But I tell you what, when it comes for that last area, that last area is going to be a fickle, fickle thing. That's for sure. Six Wisps remain. Next up, we're going to head over to the Spring Path, which is not at all, you know, alluding to a Pokemon that may appear at the Spring Path. And you can actually get this one before Sneasler by just coming up here creatively enough. It's right. Oh, oh, it's daytime. <laughs> Great timing day. Whenever I come through here, I just always go in the cave now just to see if there's a uh, see if there's a Fioni. Like, you know, am I lucky enough for that 2% chance at Fioni? Or just a couple of squids. Oh, wow! I got the Fioni! <laughs> well, that's neat. Where were we? Oh, yeah. This guy. Up here. I'm pretty sure we can get up here without Sneasler. You know what? I'm just gonna climb up. It's literally right there. Plus, you need Sneasler for at least one, so might as well. The next one that we're going to be going for is going to be located up here at the end of the spring path. Again, this is another one that you would be able to get with Weird Ear, but much easier with Sneasler. Next up, we are going to be scaling up to the Windbreak Stand and making our way to the Veilstone Cape and just strolling along the highest part of this cliff over here back to the area that we would scale from if we were, you know, down there on the right. And the very tip of it is going to be our Wisp that we need. From here, we can actually just climb down with Sneasler to make a safe landing for our next wisp, which is right down there. Located right here on the map. We have two left. Back on top of the Veilstone Cape. And this one is one of those ones that we could do some strategic falling for. Although, you know, the, the chances of you actually taking a fatal amount of damage from this fall, not very likely. And the last one is just going to be that one that I said that we were going to save for last, located right over here. This is actually the one that prevents you from doing this before you have Sneasler. I think I was able to get up here though. I think I tested it like several times. Wait, isn't this back one just slightly lower? It is just slightly lower. Is there a way to get up there? I don't know. If you can get up there before Sneasler, then go for it. If not, then then yes, Sneasler is required for this. And we've collected all the wisps in the area. Yay! Heading back to village and speaking with Vesa, we've collected 67 wisps so far. And the 50 wisp reward is the linking cord. Very nice. And the 60 wisp reward is five grit pebbles. Cool. When they have two regions left, that means two videos left, and then we're all set with this. Great. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you found it helpful, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, you may want to consider subscribing, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. By the way, outfit preview, next area. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Bye.